Drilling contractors have historically managed HSE and operational risks in the oil and gas industry. The continuous development of an effective HSE management system is to ensure appropriate risk management efforts are consistently applied by people at the work site and to control workplace hazards to ensure safe and reliable operations at all times. A safety case is a demonstration that the risk exposure to a facility has been reduced to as low as reasonably practicable and is subject to strict control through accountable management systems. It is not done to satisfy a regulatory requirement. It is done so that we can satisfy ourselves that we manage our operations with integrity, using sound procedures and with necessary barriers in place and to ensure recovery or mitigation of consequent severity. It is crucial to prevent major accidents or disasters from ever happening. Each rig's safety case is developed in accordance with the IADC safety case guidelines and created in consultation with rig personnel. The IADC safety case format and content has been developed by the IADC and is now accepted by regulatory authorities worldwide as mandatory requirement or best practice. For our rigs, the safety case guideline remains as it was intended being a tool for baseline quality or gap check in respect to our satisfaction of all system requirements, high risk activity identification and providing a ready reference document to all elements of our management systems and program as well as a practical tool for everyday operations in respect to hazard register information, summary of operational boundaries, bow tie and related major accident event barriers that supervisors hold responsibility for and the development of supervisor knowledge of those critical responsibilities. The safety case is about combining company HSE and operational integrity into one reference document. These guidelines contain several elements which, when applied in combination, may be used by the drilling contractor to develop an effective safety case for HSE management assurance. Hazard Register provides you a full list of all the identified hazards related to work on the rig. The hazard register is the basis for the identification of all major accident events. The HSC safety case is an important document that demonstrates that all major accident hazard risks associated with rig operations are adequately managed. This includes personnel with critical positions understand their roles responsibilities and scope with regards to safety case requirement. Preventative and recovery barriers and specific responsibilities assigned. Preventive branches represent the cause or threat and the list of barriers that are expected to be in place to prevent us reaching those outcomes whereas the recovery branches represent the undesired consequences and list of barriers in place that contribute to the prevention of a consequence. It informs what critical barriers belong to you and that you are accountable for. If the barriers are maintained, the threat cannot be realized. SUB is a summary of operational boundaries that, if exceeded, places the conduct of a task beyond acceptable limits of safe operations, 
These acceptable limitations have been determined using experience and establish the boundaries in which operations can be carried out. The SU provides an easy reference for simultaneous operations. Impaired barrier. External influence. Each position holder who is nominated as a barrier owner in a bow tie must know what their critical activities and responsibilities are. This instruction comes in a booklet or card and it shall be part of a rig induction for new personnel and linked to their job description. The development of the live safety case enables us to fully use the safety case during the daily operations of the rig. This ensures effective barrier implementation and management, with the objective being the reduction of risk to as low as reasonably practicable and continued safe and efficient operations.